if we have to understood, understand this uh, for patient with depression and the model, the cognitive model that we studied yesterday, this is how uh, it can be hypothesized, okay? When the reaction is, um, say, feeling depressed, the uh, incident could be, like what is happening here is, incident could be, gets average mark in some exam or say test. Now this is a event that is happening, it is a trigger that is happening. And in this given situation, how did this person feel? Felt depressed. Now, as a therapist, what we need to do is, we need to find what was the automatic thought. Like what happened just before uh, feeling depressed? So what were the thoughts, what we were thinking in that given moment? It could be like, I will never be able to perform. And from here, as you keep digging further, you will come up to find out that the core beliefs can be coming from childhood experiences, you know, where the parents are very critical, they were over perfectionist or or say uh, rest of the family members have always been like high achievers, they have been doing pretty well. Now this can be the family background this individual is coming from. That is how the even making a, even a small mistake or say something not going right can bring in a lot of these uh, uh, you know, judgments from significant others in their life where they're constantly being corrected, they're constantly being, uh, say, even bullied at times. So all of this is happening and this gives rise to a core belief. So the core belief is developed around this, that I am incompetent. And this will also further give rise to intermediate beliefs. So the assumption here can be, if I succeed, then I'm worth it. If I don't, then I'm useless. Now, when does this happen? Say, whenever this child does very well in his exam, he gets rewards in form of, say, candies, or maybe he goes to visit some amusement park with his parents. Now, this can be a form of love from his parents. When does this happen? When I do well, I receive some love and some attention from my parents. On the other times, when I'm not doing very well, I do not get all these uh, privileges. Now, this can be, uh, you know, this is where the core belief starts forming that to have love and attention from significant others in my life, I will have to achieve. And this child, when he or she keeps growing, this particular core belief will be operating in all the relationships. So say, uh, you know, if I am not able to uh, work uh, as per my boss uh, expectation or say if I'm not able to crack this deal, my boss is never going to like me. I am because I will be a bad person or say if I'm not doing good professionally, my wife and my children will never love me. Now, where is this coming up from? This is coming from the core belief, which was forming as this child was growing in his you know earlier years of life now this is how the core belief gives rise to a dysfunctional uh, to an assumption which we call as the intermediate belief and this is going to affect our automatic thoughts so in a situation it will just get triggered and we will not be aware of where did this thought come up from but it is deeply rooted in the core belief. So this is how the entire structure goes for someone who has been diagnosed with depression. This is the thought. Okay. This is the stream of thought, how it goes. Mm -hmm.